All right, what we have here is an X Mark Laser Z hydro pump. We removed from the uh, zero turn Laser Z. It's aerating, so we're going to do a disassembly and rebuild of this pump. Now we marked, we should have cleaned it off a little better, but we marked this to let us know this was the upper the upper line on the um, the drive wheel so and we follow this down right here you can see they're marked A B so we got A for the upper which is marked so we're gonna label that A when we remove these hoses and it's gonna be B so we'll break these free and get them out of the way all right, I'm gonna remove this uh, casing for the, uh, the oil pump. Put it to the side. Be careful for little springs. Uh, I'm gonna call this a valve body. They call it a kit, but we'll call it a valve body. side a uh, bolts out put them to the side check ball here's a uh, a valve plate they call it it's got a uh, you see it? There's a little. Let's clean it off for you. Right there's some kind of scratch, probably from foreign material. I mean, we could crocus cloth it out and smooth it out, but you know, I'm gonna do the job once, so I'm just gonna replace it. rebuild kit. Your part number for this rebuild kit is going to be 70525. You get all kinds of seals in there. Alright, now we're going to put the valve body to the side. We're going to pull the cylinder block out. That's what it's called. With all kinds of bearings. This is your swash plate bearing. This is uh, the cylinder block, and these are the pistons, and inside you have springs. Now, I'll show you on the inside. Let me get the cylinder block out of the way so you can see what it looks like. See, you got all them pistons inside the cylinder block. They're all the same. Remember the big wide end goes down. Goes in like that. Put that to the side. Now put this back together so you can see how this was together. Okay, there's your spring. Pull that out. Underneath there, there was a washer. The washer catches that lip right there to hold the spring up. So put that net right here. It's the move side to side. That's called your swash plate. We're gonna pull the swash plate bearing out. Put that to the side. Now we're gonna remove the pulley. I am using, looks like an inverted Torx head to remove these. Put 
them to the side. That's the kind of head they have. Alright, we're going to remove the pulley. I removed the two screws, now we're going to remove it with just a tiny hammer. You don't need much force. Just tap it out. It'll come out. I'm going to use a punch, but at the moment I can't find it. So, use this instead. You can also use a press. All right, now we're gonna remove the uh, C-clamp there with a pair of or the snap ring, the snap ring pliers. Certain holes. Now we're gonna pop that seal out. All right, we put it in the vise. Now we're gonna remove the seal. It can be tricky. I'm sure, there's a better approach. I just don't know what that one is. All right, now we got the seal out. There's another bearing in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna clean that out, crocus cloth it, crocus cloth the uh, sides of the shaft and the uh, sides of the wall where the seal goes the uh, pump casing. Alright, now we got that seal out, the shaft slides right out. There's a a, uh, a washer. And there's the shaft and the bearing. What we're going to do is we're going to clean this off, crocus cloth this. This is where the seal rides. We're going to clean that out, and we're going to crocus cloth the inside of there, make it nice and smooth, install the new seal. Before we do all that, we're going to spray this casing down. 